we're back with today's vlog. Obviously, you guys will know why I'm so big up on you watching this. Well, you sort of won't will. Um, well, I'm like, I really want you guys to watch this. So, if you've actually watched my other rest of today's vlog, you'll know there's some good news and some bad news about to come out of this. Um, so, um, so I'm just going to tell you what I actually told you on the other vlog. That currently, um, 22 minutes past midnight, I played Minecraft, I um, packed some stuff to take the post office. Now, at around 10am, the washing machine was going, I got up, I played Minecraft, um, I had Claire at 330 and obviously because like not my place to say is that something is happening but everything goes back to normal from next week guys so um you'll find out soon um then we went to the post office we went to EPD and then we went as the guys she was walking well obviously i quickly run in the post office and i quickly run in dpd so i quickly left her in a car she hates it guys let me tell you this if i leave her in a car she hates not being able to see me she starts crying and crying because she cannot see me and know that i'm okay so she panics i'm sort of stressing like i want to hurry up and get back to rosebuck i don't want to leave her long so then when we was in Asta guys, we went, right, now this is the big thing I want to tell you about Asta, right, now normally she's like really good, so she started walking on the floor, um, walking on the floor everywhere, and like we're by the door, back doors bit where they actually take carts in and out, the carts don't bother her at all, so people pushing the trolleys around, the carts going around with the big loads do not bother or like phase her at all. It was the surprise thing to her. Like the woman opened the back door, it shut and bang. She basically barked once and I was like, ah, no, ignore. She straight on, I was so proud of her. She ignored, she carried on doing and paying attention. I actually carry in my pocket like a bag of chicken, like her treat bag, actually chickens in there now. So I rewarded her with a piece of chicken and I'm like, if anyone complains about that, I'm like, well, it's going straight in her mouth, it's not on your floor, it's not doing anything to do with you and that. So, and she carried on day to day, but I was starting to also feel like a bit stressed in a way. Like, I had Claire come up to me and people were basically making snarky comments in there going i swear there's not space to be a dog in here so i'm getting really like anxious about what people are saying and things like that and i'm just like so i kept picking her up um to make me feel because it, it basically her close to me makes me feel better so i'd pick her up and then when I felt a slight bit better, I'd put it down, but then I'd pick her back up again. Um, because I felt safer like that. So that's why I basically done and every time she didn't so like she's so good in supermarkets now that normally before where you'd pick her up, she goes and have this hyper mood outside she's a complete different dog when it comes to shop. I picked her up, I put her down, she sat and she basically paid attention to me so i was like here you go i'll reward you for being such behave so i would repeat a chicken and we carried on um but the snarky comments i'm like why why you so basically these this couple was like i swear it's not supposed to be a dog in here like proper making comments behind my back and i heard over her claire talking to them about something and she come over to me and she's like i couldn't stand it anymore i just sit there for listening to them make comments about you behind your back so she went up to them now get this she went up to them she's like she's an assistant dog that's why she's allowed in here and they're like what's that then and I was like, if I was there, I would be like, well, she's an assistant of my autism. That's all you need to know. And also, you can research that. <laughs> so I was like, a bit like to Claire because I was pissed. And I was a bit like, feeling uncomfortable at this moment. I was like, why didn't you just say to them, research that? <laughs> so, it's really aggravating when people do that. When they're trying to teach a dog, 
and things like because I actually had someone I actually know um the place I used to live in before before here um was a care home and obviously he was used to stroking her in the home and he didn't quite know the whole why she's working so he went to stroke her and I was like no no you can't stroke her she's in a shop and he's like why I'm like because she's working at this point um but then he understands and he knows me so he gets why I don't want him stroking her um but it's funny bit was like he's like so okay rosebud i'll speak to you later and i was like uh, uh, what about me you're gonna say bye to me and he's like well i can't speak to you because rosebud working for you so <laughs> i'm like okay but he was just kidding with me but it was funny at the same time so but yeah my pets hates are people saying shit behind my back like what is with the world today if you got something to say and you really want to make a snarky comment and you're brave enough to say that comment you should be brave enough to say it to their face or say it in your own time behind your own door when you get home and my other pet hate is people trying to touch her like she's an assistant dog and knowing the fact that you normally don't see dogs in a store and you see a dog in your store especially people that work at the shops trying to stroke her and working with food are trying to stroke her it is so annoying like I'm just so glad now, she, really, all the time, she just ignored them. And she just ignores that distraction in life. So, yeah. Um, so, after that, we went to Tesco's, guys. Um, we went to Tesco's. Um, then we went where I got weighed. I stayed the same. We came home. Uh, where, right, so, basically... Ali and Clive, so he's the big thing, Ali and Clive kicked the fuck off again, kicked the fuck off, right, now, this morning, their post comes through the door, and I put it against the heater, because, you know, Matt, supposedly, was supposed to take the heater anyway on Monday, so he's holding the door open, so it's leaning against the heater when I left it, so she's like, do you want to know where it ended up, do you want to know where it ended up, yeah, and I'm like, no, I'm, she's like, well, I'm sick of you, I, I'm trying to stay calm, yeah, and I'm like, well, do you want me to stamp on your post, I moved it so I don't walk on it, and she's like, yeah, but you want to know where we end up, yeah, I'm trying to be civil, yeah, and I'm like, well, I don't want to talk about it anymore, I just want my chicken that I've left in Claire's car for Rosebud out of there, and she kept going on and being in our faces, basically in Claire's face, while she's in the car. And what, And then she's like going to go at me, but luckily Clive's standing there going, no, calm down. In ways, I feel sorry for Clive because he's in between her and her attitude problem and, and being aggressive towards everyone. But then at the same time, he can still be a little shit as well and do shit to me. So I'm just like, so... I'm like, my mom's on the phone at the same time to me, and mom's like, just say to her, she don't come down soon, you're gonna call the police. So I'm like, can you back off, otherwise I'm gonna have to call the police. And she's like, you can't tell me what to do, you can't tell me what to do. I'm like, fuck me, calm the fuck down. Well, I didn't actually say that to you guys, right? Um, so then she's like, I'm like, and also Claire really needs to go. She's got to get back to her kids because her partner needs to go to work. And she's like, you can't tell me what to do. You can't tell me what to do. I'm like, fuck you know? So Claire just gets out of the car. She's like, just go inside. So we go inside. I stand on my window. I was listening partly to what she was saying, some things. And she's like, I'm only trying to be civil, yeah? I'm like, say that again. Y you what y you what did you just say well i didn't actually say this is what i'm thinking in my mind i'm like she's like i'm trying i'm trying to try and be civil yeah and i'm like i feel like going say that again yeah no what what did you say civil civil step nah i don't think so and then she's like um i'm only trying to get on uh what oh, am i hearing things you're trying to be civil and you're trying to get on so you kicking off at me you um banging my door is trying to be civil and getting on yeah so then she turns around and she's like oh and then 
I said hi to her the other day. This is what she's saying to my carer, by the way, guys. Um, and this is my reaction behind the window. She's like, I said hi and she didn't say anything back. Why the fuck would I want to say hi to you, yeah? I don't want to talk to you. I don't want to know you. I can't wait to move away from you and move out of this place because I feel unsafe with you, yeah? So, and then um, she keeps going on and on at Claire. And I'm thinking, Claire really needs to go. And she sees me standing behind at the window and she's like, can you go away? I'm like, no, hang on a minute. You just told me while I was standing outside, I cannot tell you what to do. So guess what? You cannot tell me what to do, yeah? I'm going to stand at this window in my own home that I hate being at, by the way. So, so basically, then they finally give up and let wanting to let Claire go and they walk off. So Claire's like, come here, come here. So I go to her and she's like, I've told them, like, I'm going to tell you to be civil and just get on because it's not going to be forever. I'm like, well, I am being civil. I just don't want to talk to her because of the way she is to me and everything. And I says her post, her post is leaning against the side. Does she want me to walk on it? So, and then I also found, right, this is the fucking annoyingest thing ever. I found out why I was in all day Monday and no gas man turned up. <coughs> Here's why, guys. <clears throat> sorry here's why <coughs> you ready for this matt said he was scared of me scared of me supposedly right the gas man got cancelled and he didn't want to tell me because he was scared i was going to kick off on him excuse me i'm more likely to kick off on you for making me wait in waste four hours of my care when me and rosebud could be out in the sun walking enjoying ourselves yeah and you make me wait for four hours of my life when i could be out in the sun with my care of pixie enjoying life yeah i think i'm more pissed the fact you made me wait in and waste four hours and a whole day of my life being stuck in yeah i think you'll find i'm more pissed about that mate yeah i'm not gonna be pissed at you if you come civilly and go just to let you know, yeah, it's been cancelled. I'd rather know that instead of me fucking stuck in all day. So I'm like, please, are you for real? Really? So, yeah, absolutely pissed the fuck off right now. Like, so annoyed. Like, people were that concerned <laughs> about what was going on. This guy that was standing on the corner watching the whole time. Because I think if she would have actually hit one of us, he would have intervened. And actually, like, got involved. Um, what you call it? He actually stepped in. My mom's hearing this the whole thing on the phone as well. Stepped in and goes, are you guys alright? I just saw the conflict. I don't want to get involved. Like, I don't want to be, like, interfering and, like personally listening in your conversation i went i went no i live with they live upstairs with me i've had to get the police involved before with them um and that but we're okay thanks so i'm like maybe there is some people all right out there if you were in birmingham they'd be like fuck am i getting involved with that yeah <laughs> like people down here like they actually show a care like if someone actually kicked off people would actually step in and help people down here um, but her attitude stinks and it has to stop. Like, it's ridiculous. Um, do, do, do. I'm just making sure I missed anything, guys. Um, oh, by the way, right, when she did, right, so this is what happened before they all started kicking off. I forgot to say this to you guys. So, I'm see them when we're driving past back from getting weighed i'm like shit hurry up and get back i don't want to like intervene with them i don't want to talk to them so we get back and i'm like just for claire's leaving i'm like trying to tell her where what we're gonna do tomorrow until half three where i get my eye test she's like and as we're trying to have a conversation they're coming in through the front fucking door and then they turn around and Ali's like, where, where was my post then, Clive? Where was my post? I'm like, really? Are you that pathetic? Are you that pathetic? Really? 
really really and, and then claire's like whispering to me what does she mean by that and i'm like well she means that and claire's like no no she don't. i'm like no she can know what i'm saying i'm not one to say anything behind her back she can hear what i'm saying I, so i turned around and i was like she's trying to say that i've touched her post what the fuck do i want with your post please tell me so I'm like, and also, that's like me saying, where the fuck is my, my um, what is it, Marvel fucking folder for my magazines that's been more than 14 days, yeah? I'm actually going to call them tomorrow and find out what the fuck is going on. So, because it should be here by now. Um, so, and then the other thing I forgot to say, guys, is she also turned round. What was it? Um... I forgot what she said. Oh my life! Um, um, I forgot what she said. Oh, that was it, guys, right. So, she also said in her rant, right, and said to Claire that I supposedly had been saying stuff to her every time she walks down the stairs. I think you'll find if you actually listen, because I'm trying to train Rosebud to stop barking every time. Now, she's a dog. She's supposed to warn me that something's there, but it's to the point now I've let her warn, but she's barking to the point where it's an extreme so like she'll keep barking and barking and barking until that noise completely stops and it's the point now where she'll hear the littlest thing out the front and she'll bark so i need to get that out of her so training is gonna start and we're gonna get that out of her but the thing is i swear she must be hearing me going pack it in shh be quiet now that's to rosebud not to you you dumb bitch yeah i'm saying that to rosebud i'm like rosebud what sometimes i even go baby come here no come here shh, come here quiet come back to bed so do you think that's you i'm talking to i don't think so i think you'll find that's rosebud i'm talking to yeah this is like passed out right now are you a sleepy baby i'm go back to sleep um so yeah i was getting really pissed um right now i'm gonna tell you right so currently at 6 8 p.m i basically was doing my dinner before I done my vlog um, and I spoke to my mom on the phone again right now guys this is the good fucking news like buzzard like seriously I'm not trying to I'm trying not to get too excited just in case it all fails and things fall through but I've been offered a place in Biddeford I'll go and view it at two o'clock on Monday guys so happy like I swear the only bad point is that there's a bath and not a shower in there um so that's like the bad point at the moment and they've obviously got to make sure the landlord don't try doing a reference and fucking me over because he'll be clever at that yeah if he uses a brain it'll get me out of here faster since he so wants me out um but the only bad point to me accepting this property and then going to view it and then go no it's really not suitable for me um is it then cuts my whole bidding profile off and there's a place in Broughton um but we're like I'm eight on the list there's just not possible you need a little connection to there I have grandparents but they don't class that um so it'll cut my profile off and yet yeah, this place in Broughton is like I've been told that it's pretty nice and it would suit better but then I put my bad points and my good points into a box and I was like the good points I'll be close to my carers and um, 
also I'll be closer to the beach um I'll be closer to the market on a Thursday so that's less hours running there and back and things less petrol to pay out so yeah guys like oh shit guys um so yeah so less petrol net to pay out so they're my good perks it's just the whole bath thing and things like that so i'm gonna be then we've also found out i'm gonna be the name person on tenants my mom will be underneath and um, and things like that so i am so chuffed guys like my mom's like make sure you don't just take it because you want to hurry up and get out of here and i can understand her point there because once i'm out of here and i swap into a council property there is no going back guys like they're not just gonna move you like that because you don't like a property a week later they have plenty of other people to rehouse so i'm going there and i'm gonna be so just like i'm like praying it's gonna be perfect like obviously there might be a few problems um but i'm allowed to paint it i'm allowed to decorate it i'm allowed to do what i want with it other than break everything like start cutting the building apart we can understand that but guys i'm so chuffed that i've actually got a chance to view a property um i was actually chosen for a northern one but this one is better the one in biddeford um than that also it would be up the road from Clare um, as well it's not that far from Brewers Fair, Milky Way, Big Sheep, um, a lot of other stuff and Westwood Ho which I really like Westwood Ho that's where the beach I'll be going to so yeah guys that is my good news over the bad news and this is why I'm basically laughing off what happened today I'm just like in one ear and out the other but she starts kicking off later on I've got to call the police so yeah so we're gonna end the vlog early you're obviously gonna know what i'm gonna do for the night i'm gonna tell you that in tomorrow's vlog guys i have got an eye test tomorrow which is at half three which sucks because it's banging in the middle of the time of my care so and i wish I, that's why i was thinking when i tried booking it i was there like hang on a minute is this the time i really want because it's in the middle but then close like yeah it'd be fine and we didn't quite think of this at the start so guys pretty much guys i test walk um and everything but i am going my brewers tomorrow i have got post and i'm fingers crossed it's my cameras here that i've been waiting for it's gonna be pink it's gonna be waterproof if it is i'm gonna do a test out for you guys i'm gonna charge it i'm gonna go out and i might walk race but then show you what race but does in the park on it or something i don't know um so yeah I will start doing recordings out as soon as I have that camera. I know there's a few other things I'm waiting to come. Like, if Rosebud is waiting for her, um, to, I don't want to say it too loud. Um, so basically, when it's here, um, Claire or Pixie, because obviously I don't trust these upstairs. So basically, my letter that I'm, um, uh, where the place I'm going to view, because me and my mom have looked on the bidding places that I've bidden on. And it's not coming up with what property it is. I can't see it anywhere. So, um, the letter is actually getting sent to my brothers. Most of my posters now. Because of obviously I don't trust them. Um, so, and the annoying thing is. The, the, here's the annoying thing when I move. One, my post. Two, you have to ring up Paul Pip and ESA. But at least when I do it this time, it'll be for the good. Like it'll be permanently like i'll ring it up and be done dusted so guys please please like for look please like and subscribe for some pretty look please for monday that it's gonna go through and it's gonna be good like i'm praying like i don't want to be in here anymore i've been waiting for this moment to finally get out of here so yeah guys definitely look out for monday's vlog if you watch this vlog um so i'm laughing out because of like i know the good points that are coming so guys peace out like subscribe well definitely subscribe definitely like for extra luck guys please comment for openings i need some opening ideas give me some opening ideas i need some challenges guys come on like seriously i'm gonna actually look into some later on youtube to see what people have done and then i'm gonna try some probably myself so anyway guys 
peace out i hope you enjoyed my vlog so happy the fact that like i'm getting a chance to look at a property so anyway guys me and rosebud well peace out and we'll speak to you soon